Morning, you beautiful people. As you can tell from the title of the video, we've got a full day of eating today. So I'm just going to take you guys through everything that I eat, start to finish. Me and Emma just went shopping. There's Emma and there's the food that we got. But I won't show you all of that quite yet because obviously I'll show you throughout the day when I'm eating it. Let's get into breakfast right now. Let's go. I'm currently lean bulking at the moment. So I'm trying to eat in like a 300 to 500 calorie surplus. So that's the objective. I don't personally believe in like bulking. Well, people class bulking as eating like four to 5,000 calories and it's just unnecessary in my opinion. You don't need to put on loads of excess fat. Obviously, when you're eating that many calories, you're gonna build a little bit more muscle than the people that are lean bulking. But I personally, I personally prefer being leaner, feeling better about myself, being in the gym, looking sick, and therefore my performance is better, if you know what I mean. You're gonna put on the, basically the same amount of size as the people that are eating a shit ton of calories and just being fat motherfuckers. All right, so for meal one, we've got classic oatmeal. I do about 150 grams of this, there you go. That's about 150 grams. And then, this is something that I've just added in now that I'm lean bulking, just to make it taste a lot nicer. It's granola. It's got like little bits of chocolate, but not like an excessive amount. This shit, if you haven't eaten this, um, we've got like BTEC Aldi ones at the moment. The normal ones, what are the normal Kellogg. ones? Kellogg's, yeah. Kellogg Crunchy Clusters is what they're called. You gotta try them out. Like, but the chocolate you... ones, not the honey ones. Yeah, the chocolate ones go crazy. So yeah, if you've got some calories to play with, mate, get on that shit right now because it is... Look at that. I'm sorry. That is like... That is bussing in my mouth. No milk, no nothing. Just yeah, eat that dry for yeah, the day. Obviously. And that's how hard you get so big. Obviously, milk to actually bring it to life. I don't weigh any of this out. I sort of know that I'm putting around about 150 milliliters of milk in there and I just whack it all in my fitness pal. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Cheeky boy! It's like, how has he got so muscly and he doesn't even track his calories? It's because I've been doing this shit for so long that I pretty much know how much is in every every meal. This is like almost a thousand calories. Seriously? Seriously. How much was mine? No, this is probably like, your bowl is probably like four to 500. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Granola's bare high calorie, bro. <gasps> That's why it's a bulking hack, boys. Anyway, I'm gonna whack this in my fitness pal and pop the calories up. Calories and macros up on the screen. Alright, yo, listen, yeah. Uh -huh. Yo, 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 I never thought the pencil pushing was the dream for me Tried to stand out but we was drowning in the scenery Couldn't fund our dreams, we spent thousands on the greenery Them family ties weaker, they was clouded in the secrecy Them lessons couldn't teach us, families couldn't reach us Yo, for the past hour or so, me and Emma have been like sunbathing outside because you probably can't see that, but for the UK, it's pretty nice weather, it's starting to get hot again and we have to take full advantage of this heat and try and get a tan because as you can see mate i'm just pale as fuck and and we can't be having that if you want to be aesthetic that is a key mate you gotta be tan but yeah it's time for my second meal now so i'll show you what i'm about to eat right just as i'm about to cook my second meal i'm just gonna tuck into one of these they're like dark chocolate oat bars pretty much so they're fairly healthy they're not like packed with too much aids and then i'll have a glass of orange juice i usually have this with either my first meal or my second meal i just have it at some point at the start of my day and the reason as to why i'm having this right now alongside my second meal that i'm about to show you is because i'm about to train so i want to be nice and carbed up meaning i have a lot of energy i'll pop up the calories and macros for these two beautiful little items on the screen right here Meal two, which is also my pre-workout meal for today, is served. So we've got about 250 grams of beef mince. It's like 5%, so it's quite a lean one. And then about 400 grams of rice. Unfortunately, I would usually have this with like ketchup or barbecue sauce, but we've got neither of them at the moment. And I can't be eating that completely dry. Like, I'm sorry, but sometimes I do. But like today, I just, I, I can't, I can't hack the dry beef mints. I don't know, this might be really weird, but I'm putting sour cream on it. I need something, just something to give it some moisture. There it is. That's 400 grams of rice, 
250 grams of beef mince. There's my orange juice and there's my water. This isn't the last thing that I'm eating before my workout. I'm gonna show you one more thing that I eat before my workout. Bites, they want us to conform. What we wanted was to speak up. Was trapping out of fezzies, anything to get our peas up. Lost and disconnected. God damn. That shit is so dry. The thing is about those meals is like they're pretty OP because you just feel like a tank when you're eating them. Because it's just plain beef and rice, you just feel like so primal eating that stuff. It's like, I am literally the fucking liver king, mate. We're ready for the gym. We're about to head out the door. This is the thing that I normally eat. They're like little Rice Krispies cakes. Um, these are ones from Aldi, which is like a cheap little shop in the UK. But yeah, it's full of glucose, which is a really fast digesting carb and you'll just digest it instantly and fill all of your glycogen stores up with energy and you'll just be ready for training. But today I'm not gonna do that because I reckon I've got enough carbs in me, I'm all good. Also, I'm about to take some pump pre-workout. This is the pump pre-workout of choice. Hopefully, I won't be needing to use this uh, for the near future because I've been in talks with some supplement companies and there's one that I might be pairing up with soon. If I like their products, I'm, I'm getting them shipped out to me at the moment. If I like their products and the offer's right, if that's all sorted, mate, then I might be pairing up with a supplement company soon, having my own code and all that shit. I will let you guys know in the near future if that does happen. But for now, we're taking some random ass pump pre workout. <laughs> If sleep is for the weak, you know where I'll be Tangled in my head, replaying memories Close my eyes and pray for some kind of clarity A dream in black and white, be so all This is the post-workout meal to get some protein in. Today I wasn't feeling too hungry as soon as I got back from the gym, so I didn't bother eating. People say about like the post-workout window, it needs to be like exactly an hour after you train, but you don't need to worry about that stuff. In my opinion, one to three hours after you train, that's fine, even if it's three hours. So we've got a nice little ribeye steak there. It's between steak or chicken that I usually have right now, or fish, it depends. It's like either three. But yeah, today we've got steak. And then I've got another 400 grams of rice. Obviously I'm lean bulking at the moment, so it is pretty tough to eat such plain foods, but 
If you want to look great, stay lean, whilst also building good quality muscle, this is probably what you want to be doing. Oh yeah, also, I superset this meal with like a little protein pudding. These are from Aldi. I mentioned Aldi earlier. It's like a cheap shop in the UK. And the foods they do there are great for people that go to the gym. So these are little protein puddings. Amazing, mate. And it sorts out my sweet cravings a lot. So that's perfect. Just like last time, I'll pop the calories and macros up on the screen. Over there, mate. We've still got one more meal before we go to bed. So stick around and I'll show you that one. This is exactly how the inside of your steak should be looking. If it doesn't look like that, then you are not allowed to be subscribed to this channel. I'm sorry. We only have our meat rare around here. Absolutely demolish, mate. One of the factors as to why I can just demolish that large amount of rice right there is because I eat jasmine rice instead of basmati rice. So if you guys are currently eating basmati rice, I would highly suggest switching over to jasmine rice because it's just like so much more fluffy and like easy to get down. Now I've just got to eat that. And then I've got one more meal to finish off the day. God damn, please excuse my greasy ass hair. But as promised, I've got the last meal of the evening. I have this just before I go to bed. I don't have this every day. This is because I miss this out at various points of the day. So we've got four sausages. They're just chicken sausages. I usually have them with my breakfast, but today Emma was round and we were just doing stuff. Out in the garden, sunbathing, and I didn't manage to eat them. So I'm eating them now. And then I've got another little oats and dark chocolate bar. This is because I missed out the little squares bar before my workout. So I'm having this because it's a bit more healthy and a bit smarter to eat before going to bed because it's got less sugar. I'm not trying to eat that before I go to bed. Fucking have heart palpitations whilst I'm sleeping. Alongside that, we're supersetting that with water. Calories and macros for that meal are right here. And then calories and macros for the whole day are right here. Oh wait, quick little plug just before I go. My training program should be out by the time you're, see you're seeing this video. But if it's out, go to my Instagram or TikTok bio, click the first link and it will take you straight to my website where you can go and check out my exact training program.